Hello everyone and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. We're taking a look at our last comparison for the Eastern Bloc Coalition and we're focusing in on ATGM planes, particularly the, SU the SU-25K and the SU-22M4 Syria 30. So these are sort of primo ATGM planes for this coalition and they're ones I've always had a hard time choosing between. So Balanced is here with us and I'm curious, can you help me figure out which one of these well, or both should I take in this deck, up or down vet? What's the play? Yeah, uh, so when we're looking at these two ATGM planes, uh, the most important thing is that their role is de dedicated specifically towards taking out enemy heavy tanks, right? Or enemy tanks in general, right? The benefit of the Seria over the 25k is it has two higher AP missiles at fire and forget, which means you're going to salvo them both off, and then evac, which means you're going to be getting shot less, you're going to be firing them more at standoff, right? Uh, and that means you're less likely to run into enemy AA, depending on like the distance between the enemy's tanks and his AA support. Right. Another advantage is 30 AP is going to be double tapping like any tank in the game. Um, if you hit both, 28 AP is not. But the advantage of the 25K is that it does have more missiles. However, because it's semi active, what will happen is it'll go in for a dive basically as you're shooting at enemy planes, unless you turn off the gun. Right. Um, at which point it kind of like fly. It, it'll be a little awkward, but it'll work fine. It'll kind of like stay at the altitude and fire its missiles. But it's going to go in for a dive otherwise and get closer to enemy AA which means they're going to have a better likelihood of hurting it and killing it. And if it's, a, if it's a spag, if you're getting shot up by like a spag or an automatic and you get stunned, the missile's actually going to miss. Gotcha. Now, just I have a question about that dive, I guess. Uh, we talk about, a lot about range scaling in this game, and that would seem to me like you're, you're also saying, okay, let's assume that there's no AA firing at it for a second. You've destroyed your enemy's AA net, whatever it is. Um, the second volley, since you're closer, does that benefit from range scaling? Yeah, absolutely, actually. Uh, there was a little, uh, in the South Africa beta, we had a funny thing with the Buccaneer where we gave it too much of that veterancy originally, and it scaled way too high because it's also semi-active. Um, oh, so, enough. yeah, as you get closer, the missiles are going to scale to, like, higher accuracy, so you're going to hit more reliably with the SU-25K, uh, especially with the fact that the Syria is at 50% accuracy, a lot of double misses and, like, one-hit missile hitting on the Syria. However, it's important to note that, especially in, like, mid-level to higher levels of play people are going to be smoking their tanks they're going to be trying to break line of sight uh the moment you break line of sight with a semi-active missile it, it misses you don't you don't get the kill which is why the fire and forget is so important i had a really interesting conversation with onko the other day who um is another really good player in the community um and we were basically discussing semi-active as adding almost a second accuracy check to the missile but it's not one that you control it's one that your opponent controls by whether or not they do something to break line of sight um and that really kind of i don't know that, that that scares me a little bit about buying something this expensive for that and then having part of how it performs depend on my opponent's decisions not my own is that a decent way of thinking about it how do you sort of deal with needing line of sight to stay the entire time um the honest truth is yeah that's that is basically how it works i view it more or word it more as basically you need to basically pick your engagements more like scrutinously or you need to be like more narrow about what kind of engagements judicious. you think you should take yeah judicious about the kind of engagements you want to take with this thing because your opponent has a lot more counterplay to it if your opponent's caught out right is a lot more counterplay getting like back to a like getting back to safety like either they're smoking or getting back into a forest then versus this area gotcha right? so two additional questions on this just real quick the rockets are they ever really useful and does yeah. the armor matter okay uh those are both great questions the rockets yes the rockets can be very useful one of the nice things of the 25k is you can fucking you can sorry you can destroy infantry um pretty brutally actually with it 11 he four rockets four rockets doesn't seem like a lot you do really good versus infantry. these almost seem like little mini front launch bombs at that point honestly yeah no, they're 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 excellent versus infantry actually. Now you do have to dive generally, so it is a little dangerous, but yeah, they're excellent. And two front armor. So the unfortunate thing about this SU25 in particular is it has two front, but it doesn't have two rear. So the two front gives it amazing survivability because basically the way that HE works is so the difference between one and two armor regarding like high explosive is you basically cut high explosive damage by half, right? Um and all anti-plane weapons fire HE. All spags fire HE damage on planes. So something all missiles with 7 fire HE, HE damage is going to be hitting at what two to three? Uh, it's going to be hitting at like three point five. Yeah. Oh, well, dang. 
Yeah, so like having two front ar two armor on a plane is a crazy big survivability boost, which is why I think the survivability is a little, I can't like say for certain which one has better survivability because it depends on what you're getting shot at and it depends on the scenario, right? Because the Syria has higher ECM by 10% and fires from longer range, right? But if it actually gets hit from the front, of course, the 25T is much more survivable. Now, the problem with the 25K, sorry, not 25T, with the 25K is that unlike the 25T, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have one uh, two back armor, which means often what will happen is you'll be fine diving, right? But the moment you turn around, I mean, you take full damage from the rear. Gotcha. That so if you're evacing and they fire at you, which a lot of people will do this if they're microing their AA and they think you might have a seed plane, they'll turn it off when you're on your approach and turn it on, sort of as you're turning and getting out. It won't really be that relevant. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah. So that's one of the unfortunate things here. I'm gonna generally say to take this area, especially for newer players, the 25K can work. I don't think it's a bad plane. I just don't think it's as good for the role of ATGM, like like tank killing. And it's harder to use. It's a lot harder to use. And as a newer player, you want things to be easier for you, not harder. So you use those fire and forget missiles, get that almost guaranteed uh, chance to hit twice, <clears throat> shall we say. And are we talking about two at trained here or one at elite with the Syria? So generally, I'd say two at trained, but I've seen people recently, some very good people, take it at elite because they're getting frustrated with it double missing. Because <laughs> trust oh, yeah. me, at 50% accuracy, it, it, it will miss a fair bit. Don't expect it to always double I, I guess the only drawback there is um, I would not do this unless you are very comfortable getting your planes out alive. Because if you call in one at elite and you send it out toward the beginning of the match and you go, oh, I'm going to get that Kiyomaru Shiki and it gets stunned, it doesn't get the missiles off, and then it's dead, you have no more tools uh, for the rest of the game. So just be careful. That's going to be our unit comparison for the day. Thank you very much to Balance for being here for this whole series. Going through Eastern Block, we'll have another coalition and another expert back with you guys tomorrow.